This is Dan Stanton for Infarma Technologist at Interfex 2014. With me is Richard Steiner from Gaia Pharma Systems and Mike Jornitz from Gcon Manufacturing. They're going to be talking to me about their portable continuous manufacturing system. So, um, yeah, could you uh, talk me through this concept that you've come up with? We merged actually two technologies together. So one is the continuous uh, manufacturing technology to process oral solid dosage forms, what is called Consigma. And the other technology, this is uh, the self-contained uh, autonomous clean rooms called POT. And yeah, this is under the headline of PCMM, which means Portable Continuous Miniaturized Modular System. Uh, we have a, uh, a, a portrait of um, the system behind us here. Uh, Richard, would you be able to briefly talk us through um, how, how this actually works? So the central element, of course, is here a base platform where the manufacturing, the process equipment is assembled too. So this is on one side a direct compression setup and here a wet granulation setup, Consigma called. The shell comes around the pots and um, is yeah, enclosing it all together to a portable system, which Mike will tell a little bit more about it, I think. Um, all these pot structures are on air bearings, which means uh, three people can move this easily around as soon as it hits uh, the floor. So you bring them together around the platform and then seal the sides and have your pot structure established. Um, we bring also a, a material side uh, on the docket on, on the other end of the pot and we create with that the mega pot. Seal it together, mega pot is uh, up and running and ready. If we want to and we want to relocate this pot, we can as easily um, dismantle the pot, slide it out and uh, move it to another location. Um, there are other concepts out there in regard to uh, uh, modular or podular uh, systems. Um, we call this not any longer modular. Modular is becoming uh, already type of obsolete and will be superseded by the podular structures. There are some other manufacturers out there which refurbish containers, uh, but containers are heavy, uh, prone to corrode, um, and are not as outfitted as these pots. Um, besides that, a lot of the uh, uh, other systems which we see have a centralized air handling system. These pots don't have a centralized air handling system. They have their own air handling system, which makes them very flexible. What is also important to add here, um, this is not just the process equipment. You have material handling, there's cleaning, also the cleaning booth for this equipment is inside the clean room as well as uh, the locks for the operators uh, going in and out of this, uh, of this uh, structure. So it's really a self-independent, self-sufficient manufacturing R&D and scale-up site. What is Pfizer's input and how are you working with them? Now it's a very important input because actually they provided the vision of uh, putting all and merging all together. Um, not to forget that they also contribute a, a unique dry blending technology which we have uh, commercialized for this case here. The, the whole PET strategy, the, the advanced process control uh, is also part of their uh, contribution. So um, Richard, when will the first operating unit be ready to operate? Yeah, so the schedule is that the first unit uh, is ready to, uh, for SAT in January 2015. Is this sort of uh, um, portable uh, modular system the future for manufacturing or, or how do you see it uh, changing, the, uh, changing, the, changing the industry? Definitely. We, we, we see that, uh, uh, again, that podular systems instead of modular systems are becoming the, the future trend. When we talk about flexible facilities, flexible facilities means multi-product facilities, um, repurposable facilities. Right now what's built is a structure which is for one product uh, availability, product dedicated and cannot be repurposed. With Pfizer and GEAR in a team effort we create a part, a flexible facility for all solid dosage forms. But 
from a GCON manufacturing standpoint, we see a lot of clients coming to us also on the monoclonal antibody uh, platform, recombinant platform, and vaccines. And just think about vaccines. If you want to have small volume vaccine facilities, flexible, fast deployed, and again, mobile, um, this is the trend, this is the future of uh, facilities. It will not be in 20 years, it will be in five years. In five years, um, pod systems or uh, podular systems will uh, probably dominate the, the next facility designs. And that's throughout uh, oral solid dosage forms and even biologics by design. Absolutely, it. absolutely. It will be biologics and oral solid dosage forms. And we go so far that we see the large trend of personalized medicine coming up. Um, at the Interfax, uh, GCON launched their uh, cell therapeutic pods which are smaller ones, as well as analytical and assay development lab pods. So even laboratory units will, will be potified in future and will not just stay uh, at the production platform. Well, Richard, Mike, thank you very much for speaking to me today about this. Have a great rest of the show. For Informa Technologist, this is Dan Stanton.